Don't have a stroke. Don't have a stroke. But don't have a stroke at 39,000 feet on your way home from Bangkok. No, don't do that. It was terrifying. It was really scary. And, and were you completely aware that that's what was happening? Or no. Were you just feeling... No, it sounds daft, because the, the first sign was as I was getting onto the plane, and I slipped a bit, and I actually thought it was cramp. Right. I was filming, and I'd, I'd come all the way from Bolivia to Burma, and it'd been a long old stint, and I was, I was pretty wrecked. And I sort of keeled over. The bloke came up and said, you all right, Chris? I said, yeah, I'm OK. I'm sorry, mate. I'm a bit of cramp. And I got on the plane. And then it kept coming and going like that. Sort of every hour, I would have a sort of... The arm would go and the leg would go for about 20 minutes. Mm. When you mean go, what? Just... Like, no, yeah, you just couldn't lift it. Completely. Couldn't lift it. And, the, mm. and this was sort of... The leg wasn't working. And did you tell somebody? Did no. You? No, I, I know you're all going to nag me, but... No, no, funny enough, <laughs> yes, no, you we're will, not. because no, that's no, what no. you did. But... Um... Look, she's folding her arms yeah, and getting ready now. <laughs> Because, well, no, but... because I'm leaving Bangkok, I'm on Thai Airlines, they didn't speak the best English. And I thought, what are they going to do? Is there a doctor on the plane? What's he going to do? I wasn't sure I was having a stroke, etc., etc. And I just wanted to get home, I wanted to be in Britain. And you think about it, come from Bangkok to, to London, I wanted to get to London. If they say, well, we better take the plane down, where are we going to go? Uz Uzbekistan, <laughs> Tehran General Hospital, <laughs> <laughs> Syria, where are we going to go? But some, but you know, they probably would have been a doctor, hey? though. They probably would have been a doctor I don't think they could have done a lot without all the drugs and stuff. And somebody, they, 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 immediately the medics I got come the, together. I got, I got to Heathrow, which I've always maligned as an airport. They were fantastic. And a guy arrived, they had a para, paramedic guy on a bicycle, and he came zooming through all sorts of stuff. Um, so when was... did you say something to, to alert mm. them that they were there? Well, I fell over, basically. I killed Actually, over. Actually, did you? Bit of a clue. You know, you know, like that, you yeah. know I find fascinating, because I was with... My dad, unfortunately, had a stroke a few years ago, and I was with him when he had a, a second one, and he, he was terrified. It was a really frightening thing to yeah, be going through. And so, so I can't imagine how... How you could have done that and, and, mm. and kept totally quiet about it? Were you scared? Were yes, you frightened? Were, yeah. you, were frightened. you travelling on your own? Was uh, yeah, because the crew was still in Bangkok. So right, so you're back totally by yourself. Yeah, I just wanted to get home. I thought it'll be okay if I can get home, get to a doctor. Yeah. And when I got there, they took me into Charing Cross Hospital, which is fantastic. It's the best possible stroke unit. Yeah, brilliant consultants, and and they sorted me and they they pumped me full of drugs and things. I mean, the first couple of days were. Really frightening with Jane. Did, did you? Did, I mean, when you were going through all this in the plane, did you think this is it? Yeah, actually, for uh, yeah, some of the time. And what? what, what how did I mean? I thought, well, when you say this is it, what went? What went through your? <laughs> <laughs> what went through your mind? What? Because none of us would exp have ever experienced anything um, like that. What does I go through know. your mind? Just fear. Is yeah. this? Is this how? Because you, you tried. You tried to ring home a few times. Yeah, didn't I did get try through. to ring Jane. I could not get through on the, the transatlantic thing. Yeah. There was no satellite signal. All that. Oh. So in terms um, of having that thought of this might possibly be it and whatever it is that goes through your head. Once you recovered, which yeah. I know was quite a long recovery, two uh, things. What effect did it have on you mentally in the way that you deal with your life? And, and do you still have any residual physical No, I, had, I mean, once they pumped me full of drugs and sorted me, and the guy said to me, you're really lucky. I said, yeah, I was lucky. You know, I could have died. And he said, no, no, but you could easily have been in a wheelchair. And that really scared me because mm. I just thought I couldn't... Yeah. You know, I couldn't function at all. Mm. Um, no, I did lots of physio with this terrifying girl <laughs> who should be on Loose Women. <laughs> no, you know, physios who arrive with a bag, pain is beautiful. No, it's yeah. not. And she's jumping up and down and beating me and all that stuff. But it was good, actually. Yeah. Actually, my dad, he, he sadly died of strokes, but um, he had about eight of them in the end. But during the rehabilitation, the hospital actually told him that he almost had to teach himself to walk again. You know, I did. You had, you had to tell your mind you I were did. going to Quite quickly, move. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. And did you go through that? What effect has it had? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> has it made you readdress? So, yes, for example, I don't work as hard as I used to. Right. I deliberately don't. Yeah. Uh, mm. And I don't. And this is not the the doctors telling me. I just don't drink any whiskey. I always used to drink large mm. scotches, and I just don't. What do does it whiskey do to you? Makes me go peculiar. No, but I mean, generally, <laughs> what does it do to the body in terms of strokes? Do you think? I, I just think that. Neat spirit is not good. Okay. And, and for you, that's, that's your thing yeah, that me. you've I taken just, and, and there's loads of bottles around the house and things. And yeah, I just, it I, doesn't bother me either. I don't know. Mm. Well, well, you the way you say you cut back and work, though. Well, and here, you're, God, my goodness, you're travelling all over the world with your train yeah, journey. Well, because, 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 because. I'd done two. We'd been Bolivia, we'd done Burma, then killed over. And, I mean, they were great. They didn't say, come on, Tarrant, you know, for God's sake, a stroke, get back to work. It was none of that. They said, it's only a bit of telly. Which is really nice because in the mm. end it is. Mm. They said if and when you're better 
and you want to do some more, you know. And I thought about it quite a lot. And have really you had... To... I'm sorry, I'm just fascinated by this. Have you had conversations now with your family that you might not have had before this happened to you? A bit, yeah, with the kids particularly. Yeah. Yeah, because they were there on the bedside. I mean, I remember Jen, my, my daughter, one of my daughters, beside the bed, and she's holding my hand. And she said, can you lift your hand out? And I said, no, I actually, I actually can't. And I was really, come on. Mm. And then after about an hour, this is the second morning, after about an hour, I lifted it, and it was like, ah, oh, Dad, well, mm. cool, you know, all this. <laughs> yeah. And then it sort of went down again. Oh, yeah. but, but then it started, and the drug's sort of kicking in. Yeah. I know the first night, and I was absolutely exhausted, and I would not sleep. Jane had been with me most of the night. I would not sleep, I thought. And I did think, if I go to sleep, I won't wake up. Mm. Oh, it's terrifying so. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you think you'd have another stroke. You understand that. But I'm fine now, and I'm I fit know as you a are. fiddle. You yeah. are. Yeah. It was just so boring. And, um, music and money uh, and the girls. And, oh, oh, it was like, so boring. The adulation. <laughs> right, Nikki, off camera though, did you get on?